Welcome back to the Beastly Room. Um, we got something a little interesting today, and um, it's a little unusual as well. And it can cover a few topics as we go through. We have been given a huntsman spider, which is in this tub here. Now, this little fella here has come all the way from Australia, and it was found in a packing crate. And, uh, and it's come from um, Britannia Leather Barrows. They're in um, Bournemouth. And um, yeah, their guys found it in the warehouse. So we've actually now, they contacted us and asked us if we'd kindly take it away and look after it. So we have got it. Now what we've got to do now is obviously we're gonna house it. We haven't got a clue what type of huntsman it is. So we're gonna need to try and identify this at some point. But we know roughly how our huntsmen need to be looked after. So we're going to go along with them lines because we don't have any specific information for it. So what we're going to do, we are going to set up a really, really simple um, enclosure. And I know what I have forgot is my moss. I need to get some moss. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this in here. We're going to put our membrane on top. Remember, the membrane is just purely to stop the soil from disappearing down into the uh, the clay balls. That is all it's there for. Nothing else. Right. So we're going to get some soil in here. Reasonable amount in there because we're going to want to put a plant in here. So. And the reason we're going to go with a plant is some for aesthetics, just so that it looks looks half reasonable, and it's going to give us a little bit of a better um, feeling about the whole thing. I think. What we'll do make a lovely mess with all this stuff. I'm just going to break these roots up a little bit. Get rid of some of that. Now we often get asked about our plants, where do we get our plants? These are just regular plants that we pick up from um, our local garden centre. So they're nothing special, they're just regular house plants. You don't get too hung up on, on your plants and the different bits and pieces and what you think is good and what you think is bad. The majority of normal house plants are going to be more than suitable for um, for your you know for your enclosures. So what we've got here, this is some um, some natural wood that we've collected. This is natural bark, and uh, as you know, huntsmen spend their whole time literally hiding behind pieces of bark in the wild. Now. One of the other things that we we can we know about with the Australian huntsmen is that they actually frequent houses quite a lot. They'll try and get inside your house. And this is probably due to the fact that there's plenty of live insects and things like that for them to um, chase about. What we're going to do is we're going to just snap a bit of this off. You can see how dry it is by the way it's snapping away. Put that in there. And we're gonna get some other pieces as well. And then hopefully we can um, create a little something. So giving this spider security is gonna be the main thing. So we're going to just pop in some different bits and pieces and give it somewhere to hide. So one of the things that they do like to do is they like to get in between tight crevices and things and this is where they spend their time. This is where they hide away. We can try and uh, get our plant to muck around in there as well. 
get a little bit of a uh, little bit of this here. So we're just literally we all we're doing is we're trying to provide different options, different places for them to hide away. And you can put another piece literally down in the back there. And by doing this, we should, in theory, give her plenty of places to disappear and feel secure. That's the idea. So that's it. I think that's all we're going to need in there. Like I say, this bit of greenery is literally just to add a little bit of texture to it. Right, we've got our hot glue gun that's been on the go. I'm going to... Remember, when you're gluing your, your water bowls, don't be shy with the glue. Look at that, nice big glob of glue. You get a lot of people say, oh, my water bowls don't stick to the wood. It's because you're being tight with the glue. Don't be tight. Right then, can you get that one there like that? And what we do, once we get it into position, we literally just spray it and that will fix it in place. That makes it perfectly safe now as well. I'm going to whack some water down for our plant. Now generally speaking these ivies are really good. They tend to be quite um, quite robust. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it gets on. There you go, that doesn't look bad does it? That's quite um, Looks quite sensible. All right, I'll just clean this out of here because I've managed to fill it all up with soil. There we go. All right, so we're going to put our lid on, our top on. All right, there we go. I think. That's going to be it. I don't think we'll bother with that other plant. We'll keep that one there. We'll get rid of our glue gun. Just unplug him. Right then. So, as we were saying, this spider has come all the way from Australia. And by having um, a look on the internet, it does appear to be what they call the giant huntsman. It's got the banded legs and um, and the coloration. Now, as we all know, these are very, very quick. So we're going to try and get a look at this spider. We'll try and zoom in and um, see if we can't... I don't want to free in the room because that will be a nightmare trying to catch her again. I would imagine she's quite thirsty. Right, here we here we go. Look at it like that. Oh, she's making her own way. Yeah, look at that. You see, she's um already yeah. Look, very very thirsty. Caught up on her own little bit of web there. Now that's really interesting to see how thirsty she is there. What we can do, we can try and sprinkle just a little bit of water down for her. Oh. There you go, look, she's very, very keen for the water. Oh. No, we didn't want you going all the way over there, did we? All right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna try and, this is where we find that they, they jump really well as well. Here she comes. Beautiful spider. Now you have to be very, very careful when we uh, when we find spiders like this because we don't know who or what they are. So you have to treat them with some respect. Now we we know because it's a huntsman, we know it's not going to be dangerous. Oh, 
No, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> All right, okay. Come back over here. Here she comes. Yeah, stay there. I don't want to come back out again. I can't see now. <laughs> there we go. Right, we'll let her have a drink. <laughs> As you can see, she seems relatively. Um, Relatively well behaved. She is very, very thirsty. And I think what we'll do to actually help her, we will spray this whole enclosure down and we'll give it a nice good soak in it so she can actually find water wherever she is. Um, hopefully, she'll um, pick some up off the plant as well. Very, very pretty spider. Now, um, as we were saying, Identification is going to be the, the main thing, but there are absolutely thousands of different types of huntsmen. And uh, the more she, um, you can see there, you can see how she's actually literally trying to suck up on the water there. She's searching for it. Very, very thirsty. That's a very nice spider. Get them to the middle of the picture and the focus. Okay. So as you can see there, she's working away. She's trying to get the, the moisture from within that little bit of bark. Incredible little spiders. Now we might be lucky enough, and if it is um the giant, the Australian giant huntsman, these guys can get really, really big. So it'll be an interesting thing to see how, how she develops. We'll pop a little bit of food in for her as well. Some small roaches, just some small inoffensive things at the moment. And once she's actually had a good drink and everything, she will feel a lot stronger and she'll be ready for life in the beastie room. What a stunning spider. That is really, really cool. Got some footage there in the end. I'm struggling. Yeah. <laughs> she is really, really pretty. So we can um, we can literally follow her, see how she goes, and see if we can't get a bit more. I don't want her disappearing. So we're just literally going to. Get some, get some water everywhere, and she'll find it now. This will make it nice and easy for her to find some, find some water. We're going to close this up. Now she's in there. Well, that wasn't too bad in comparison to um, some of the huntsmen that we've had. Generally speaking, they are incredibly fast, really, really quick. They are easy to look after. What's happened? How did that die? We've got you on video. I don't know when it went out. Oh dear. So we can keep this running yep. and do it like this. Maybe yours has picked up a recording. If not, you'll have to do a voice over and explain to us what's happened. Oh my gosh. Right, well we were just about to wrap it up anyway. Um, yes, what we will do is we will follow this spider and, um, and see how she goes. As you can see now, she's getting nice and active again. She has spent six weeks in a packing crate. So um, I would imagine she's very hungry, very thirsty as we've seen. And uh, hopefully she will like this new exhibit. Um, we've given her everything that she really needs. So fingers crossed, everything will work out. And what we will do is we will drop back in a couple of weeks and see how she's getting on. Um, hopefully she will survive. Uh, there's no reason why she shouldn't. So. Um, Fingers crossed we'll be good. Right then. Well, until we've got some more to report on her, we will leave it there and uh, we'll just see how she goes, how she gets on. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Australian huntsman.
um, I'll stow away. And don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider. And I will see you soon, guys.